from her lips, right? Exactly from her lips. <laughs> yes, we are ready to go. Are you ready? No, you're gonna hit you. Yo, yo. Legs, <laughs> I'll take him. I'll take him, relax. That's fine. How far? Are you guys ready? Yes, we are ready. Wow, we are in a season of cloud chasing. <laughs> yeah, me cracks my liver. Oh, anyways, guys, <laughs> welcome back to Sell with Me, Shirley Mimi. Where yeah, you got the gist? I said I do waiting. I said I hurt. Of course, you know there's no stepping on the bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do what? You lose, my darling MVPs. How are you all doing? I hope you are having a cool and chill Thursday so far. Do not forget Thursdays are TBT throwback Thursday. That hence I am actually you know starting my videos with throwback of the housemate. I hope you are enjoying them. Okay, my internet subscribers. Hope you are doing the needful. Thank you. All right, guys. Still in the spirit of TBT. Still in the spirit period of throwback throwback thursday whenever you hear me say tbt you should know it's throwback thursday by now because i actually do it on thursdays okay so guys still in the spirit of tbt here yeah. let's see some of the moments in the house okay according to nancy mark okay since it is thursday let's revisit the hearts moment in biggie's house throwback thursday let's go babies okay this is it number one throwback to the week of music madness when biggie and the crew denied kanaga jr his accolade after the wager presentation kj refused to dance on that day's pool party and that was the most boring pool party of the season number two throwback to when tati betrayed a boo, boo by discussing nomination with other housemates ipeleng and kanaga okay and they were up for nomination yet they were h-o-h -H. internet got crazy that day tati was giving many names people were mad number three throwback to when kj returned to biggie's house with premium motivational speech <laughs> internet catch fire i am telling you the buyer pair <laughs> the buyer pair especially they, they made mockery of kanaga jr in the diary room that day okay number four Throwback to when Coco, ne Coco knelt down, that is Kosi, knelt down and begged the Emmys for Bola. Jeez, that was not what she did. Come on. <laughs> Number five, throwback to when Yemi turned to Coco's bodyguard. <laughs> it was actually funny. Yemi was trying to, you know, literally guide um Kosi from talking to tabang then number six throwback to when blue ever showed yemi her punani actually i remember vividly so guys what you have to do for me is to let me know the throwback that caught you most okay the one that is more fascinating to you okay the one will shock you that hold you on chalk on chalk code when it's happened okay you know it's actually throwback so let's make it spicy before we enter the juice at hand because we have gist as their heart so let's continue okay all right number seven throwback to when biggie revolved KJ's win. K Force dragged him, Biggie, till he mutes KJ's name on TV screen. It's his throwback to when KJ used mob to clean table because he was drunk. <laughs> Number nine, throwback to when Coco won the show. That is Kosi, the Kosi, the winner. Number 10, throwback to when Ipelen threatened to send KJ home using Veto Power. K Force nearly landed in ICU and Adios, most peaceful K Force fan, Nancy. So, yeah, guys. Let's make this spicy, okay? You're free to add yours in the comment section. But actually, this highlight picked by this Nancy is actually apps 100%. Like, everything is on lit, on lit, okay? All the throwback really makes sense, okay? That time when um, Ipelen would go to the diary room and said who her threats are, ah, Yvonne, Kanaga Jr., you know, I was like, and Kosi, hey, people were like, if they told this girl to remove housemate, that means Kanaga Jr. and Kosi are going, you know, and Yvonne. That time it was actually trembling. Like, people were so scared. Like, these throwbacks were so, so lit. But, ah, imagine when um, Blue opened her leg and said, and told Yemi to see. Wahala no go finish. If we say Yemi was the man of the season, is it wrong? I think it's right to say Yemi was the man of the season. Why Kosi was the lady of the season? Because guys were rushing Kosi left, right, and center. Anyways, let me know what you feel about yours in the comment section, okay, babies? You people pay to be a co-host on space. You pay for someone to defend and talk and talk well about your fave on space. I am shocked. You all take this BBN thing serious. So it's serious like this. So wow, I thought you were all catching crews. Guys, if I tell you how much uh, these Twitter people take this BBN serious, if I tell you how toxic some of these fans are, 
guys it go shock you can you believe those um sometimes i share videos of voice note of um house um fans in a twitter space okay having a conversation about what is happening about their faves guys do you know they pay for it hey <laughs> wahala they actually pay for it even pay people who has mouth to help them defend their faith and to help them curse on certain people like really money that people will give me trusting me to use and eat eat catfish and enjoy her life you people will not use it and go and be paying people so as they will help you finish people anyways guys let's enter the gist as the road there is no time at all okay guys we all know what tomorrow is hello like hello we all know what tomorrow is tomorrow is cozy coming to nigeria's day like all eyes on cozy right now like we are all investigating on tomorrow I don't know about you, but I know that I'm Mishosti Mimi and so many other people are actually investigating on Kosi coming tomorrow. So, and it has already started brewing a lot, guys. First off, I would advise to watch this video to the very end because I want us to discuss something about Kosi active lifestyle. It is actually serious. We need to talk about that right now. I see the hurt. Okay. Meanwhile, it is actually giving... People are under arguments. I told you guys Kosi coming to Nigeria will bring a whole lot of brouhaha. I asked the Kosi are you guys actually ready? <laughs> and you guys told me yes, so so you guys should better be ready. Anyways, um, they were arguing that Kosi is coming back for Yemi, that Yemi is going to come back. And some people were arguing, how would Kosi come back and take over um um blues take um leftover? They have been arguing about it, and some persons are actually saying that Blue Ever is running away from Nigeria because Kosi is about to take over guys the ranting on the social space no be smart in. <laughs> i was like i have been expecting this for so long maybe because of the drama between juicy j yvonne and olivia took over it because i've been expecting this dragon about who kosi is coming to what kosi is coming to do in nigeria but because of we have other dragon at hand that took over the, the space that is why it's minimized a little but do not worry when kosi will call you pull here on Naguta. and right now they're arguing about kosi for yemi that kosi is coming for yemi anyways what i will tell you guys is even if you do not like yemi for kosi or anything but do not be surprised if you get to see them together because this house means barely carry things on their heads just like fan does you get the point okay so be ready for anything okay blue is running away from lagos because she believes it is cozy time to shine or more how do they take initiate all this kind of thing like how do you guys initiate all this kind of thing hi bo hi bo when I, hey i'm not a south african girl oh. <laughs> oh my god but how do you guys actually you know initiate all this kind of thing it's actually funny sincerely okay you will be shocked when Yemi ignore her as if she doesn't exist. So you want Kosi to take Blue's leftover. Like I told you guys, this argument is, is actually brewing a lot. But I did not get to, you know, take a lot of screenshots about that because I want us to discuss something more important, you understand? And it's about Kosi's, um, what is it called? The active lifestyle stuff. Because I want us to drop our two cents because it's giving different angles for me right now. And I think some persons are actually making sense on that, okay? So that's why I did not really get a screenshot of this, more of the argument. But just know that a whole lot of banter is going on about Kosi for Yemi. And if you're a Kosi Rain or a Koyemi shippers, no, just put your hope so high, okay? Just leave it like that. If you see your fave with Yemi, do not attack her or do not say anything. Just, it is their life. Anyways, I trust Kosi Rains. Anything Kosi choose, they will accept it for her. Anyway, Anyway, so let's enter the main gist why I want us to talk. So, guys, this Kosi active lifestyle. I told you guys, was it not yesterday for my videos that um the Kosi rays are actually doing too much? But before I start first, Kosi rays, are you here? You guys are really too much, my people. Like, I told you guys on how I saw one um um what was it called review on one person said as she downloaded the app her ass started growing you know so now there are lots of you know reviews like unimaginable review like impossible reviews on that active lifestyle do not forget that it is not functioning yet though okay but now an argument is going on okay that it is not right that this kind of um review are on that app that it is going to give it a bad name and people will already say that it is not a legit app because something that has not started and already people are saying some things that is out of place first of all let's read the review then we get to talk about it okay okay this person said literally downloaded an hour ago and i am 50 kgs lighter friday we stay up to order the apparel hot girl summer is okay friday we stay up to order the apparel hot girl summer is upon us okay so now this particular one said literally she downloaded it an hour ago and she lost 50 kg all right this one said i cannot believe 
I cannot believe this is the this is me right now. All fit and ready for summer. Thank you, King Kosi. Yes, I haven't subscribed, but I can see the difference already. So guys, people are thinking that the exaggeration coming from people like the Kosirans, because actually it can only be Kosirans doing this because they are supporting their faith, okay? You know, when I saw this initially, my all my mind was I love what Kosirans are doing, like they are supporting their faith, they are always all out for Kosi. Like what I was even saying yesterday, right now I will I will actually give somebody a blow if you can't come to tell me that they actually rigged Kosi winning. Because the Kosirans are actually all out for her when it comes to anything concerning Kosi. But at the same time, I have started thinking what people are saying, but let me finish with this review first okay this is the best fitness app in the world whole wide world i have not even subscribed yet but already losing weight and getting the banging summer body so guys people are actually saying you know sometimes we we tend to see things in another light but when you get to sit in a general light, you'll be able to, you know, place some, you know, when you reason some things, you'll be able to place on how it is going so people are saying that this is actually not good for Kosi. it is not good for her brand that the kind of review people are giving is actually not okay at all. That they should be on a, on a moderation, you understand? They should not be over, like the over exaggeration is not good. What do you think about that, guys? Do you think it will affect the brand? Or do you think it's just, I mean, I just took it like his fans doing their thing. thing. But at the same time, what of outsiders who will just come and see what people are saying? They'll be like, no, this thing is a fake app. Do you understand? Okay, just let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Kosi fans are at, at it again. An app that was launched yesterday and they are adding lies on reviews. They are saying they now have six pack and have lost 50 kgs. Aibo. So now, guys, I like I said, you understand? Initially, I was saying, oh no, the Kosi range, you guys are too much. I was hailing the Kosi range. But now, getting people to say that... On, a, on the other note, this thing can affect the brand. Okay, what of outsiders? We all know that we are from the BBT Street, okay? Big Brother Titan Street, okay? And we all know Kosi. And we, uh, and we all will see it that, yes, these are fans coming through for their faith. But is that what other people who is not a fan of that show would see it? That is what we should ask, okay? Lydia said, let's see some people's um, say about it. Why you let me know yours in the comment section? I would rather continue using my Habba life. Not this life. This is too much. I am not her fan, but this is wrong. It is not good. Wait till it is out. Don't mislead people with lies. So, guys, like I said, okay, be you Kosi Ren or be you a fan of any other housemate that will be watching this video right now and you've gotten to this section, okay? I would love you to let me know your sincere 2%, okay? Let me know your sincere 2% on what you think about this I just said right now. Do you think this review, you know, being um taken out by the co series that is going to affect her brand or do you think it is just a normal thing that you can see in other apps let me know in the comment section because i now personally i'm trying to take it out of the review of being a bb titan fan right like be a, a lover of big brother niger and whatsoever Outside as uncle, how would they take this thing? That is the question. Because of course, it is not just the, uh, the BBT. You know, it's not all around, all over, all about the BBT. Other people who want to, you know, download the app too. Okay, Z said. Okay, on a serious note, business wise, it is it good. Is it good what they are doing? Lying on reviews. I mean, it would sabotage Kosi's app before it even starts working. Hmm. Kosi is king. Co Kosi is King Kosi. At least they are encouraging their faith, unlike you, busy focusing on their business. Now, this is where me was. This was where I was, like, as at before I come across, you know, some of the comments people say, just like this Z said. Okay, do you think the lies won't affect? In as much as in the BBT world here, we, we enjoy helping our faith, you know, going all out for our faith. But do you think it is actually advisable? In this context right now so that we will know when to draw the lines okay so that we will know when we are doing way too much it's just cruise madam omo omo full of full of drama cozy fans are the best real supporters this one i love my teammates sincerely cozy rings are simply the best sincerely i'm not gonna lie like i love the way they support their faith and at the same time though some of them know how to throw easily okay but at least there are majority of them who are understandable that is one thing i love cosi rains they are actually all out for cosi but at the same time don't you think it's about being too much right now do you think they should curtail it that's what i want to see in the comment section and why are you worried about our lies <laughs> you can lie too i said <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this one do not kill me please okay you can lie to and say color is married to a bologna it is none of our business less of our profits always looking what cosy do my word chili girl <laughs>
<laughs> just admit it you love cozy you adore her no one can follow someone they hate this much but this is wrong and actually this is this down here is south african words i cannot read them okay but i know this person is trying to explain something and that that person is a cozy red i wouldn't mind if somebody translates what that person that is lindani is trying to say okay because she actually said this is wrong now guys if you're being sincere remove stanship from your eyes right now do you think this review is good for cozy or do you think it's going to do you think it's going to make or mad this her brand let me know in the comment section okay because right now i do not think it is i think it's actually way too much right now so tell me what you feel in the comment section i'll be right there with you guys as usual you know i'm always with you guys for getting to this section my babies you, of course you know where you belong in my heart i love you so much thank you so much for always being there right now i am signing off with my full chest to see you guys there bye, -bye.